Hello and welcome back to Rags with another interesting tutorial. This is me, Krish. I'm happy to see you guys back again. Uh, it's been a while, so sorry again for that. Uh, but uh, today we're going to talk about an interesting topic that some of our um, friends and some of our subscribers even uh, asked uh, about it. That is how to import our uh, camera animation, sorry, export a camera animation from Maya or any other 3D program to uh, uh, Unity. So um, in this video, we will see how to export our camera animation from Maya to Unity. So this is the same method that you can use uh, if in case you're using any other 3D program, doesn't matter. So it's just very simple. Um, so you should be able to follow it. So here I have a simple setup uh, just to, you know, uh, see some variation. And this is my camera that I've created in Maya and I have just simply animated just like this. So I have this camera animation here. It just uh, moves like this. So let me show it to you. Uh, play it. Yeah, so that's a simple camera animation here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to select this camera and create a simple sphere. Just take the sphere, just reduce the size a bit. Yeah, and uh, select the camera and then select the sphere that you have created. Select the sphere and uh, constraint and go to parent constraint and select this option box. And I don't want to maintain the offset. So uncheck the offset uh, option here and just click on add. Now you can notice this particular uh, sphere is actually um, snapped to the position of the camera. Now whatever the camera does, the sphere is actually going to just uh, rep uh, just follow it. Now it's as simple as that now. Now let's just go to show and uh, switch off everything. And we just want only the polygons. So just go ahead and select everything. And go to file. And uh, export selection. Options here. And I want it to be an FBX export. FBX and uh, edit preset I want the animation to be yes animation to be there and I want it to be big animation to be um, selected and just close it and now export selection and uh, let me go to my unity project here rags and I have an option here called cam anim so select it and I'm just going to get into assets and I already have this one, so I'm just going to replace this one. Camera animation, FBX. Click on S. Great. Just click, close this warning sign. And go to my uh, Unity project here. And here uh, you can notice the project is actually imported. So let me just uh, create a new scene. Don't save. And here we have this uh, animation uh, file that we exported. Just select it and drag and drop inside. Now, uh, if we just uh, expand this uh, camera anim, the uh, prefab that we imported, here we have this P sphere. This is nothing but our camera control, the one which we attached along with our camera. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this main camera and just drag and drop it inside the prefab first. And I'm going to select this P sphere, select this uh, transform component here and copy component just select the gearbox and select copy component and go to main camera and select this settings option here and paste component values so select it and paste it now you can notice that the camera and sphere are sitting in the same place now just do one last thing here select the sphere and drag and drop it inside the sphere so that uh, the camera is going to follow the sphere right so right now the sphere is a parent and the camera is the child now I just want to um, create a new anim animation controller so we have an animator controller here and let me go to animator and uh, just let me delete the old one select the camera prefab open it up and select the animation file and drag and drop it inside and connect it connect it to the animation controller Now uh, let me go to my camera anim and I'm going to select this animation controller and drag and drop it there. Clear. Now uh, 
let me just play it and see what happens. Yep, you don't see much of a difference here, but actually the camera animation is playing. But the reason why we don't see is the camera is actually facing backwards. If I select the sphere and the camera, the camera is actually facing the backwards. So I want to rotate it by 180 degrees in Y axis. Now you can notice that the camera, uh, that the asset is visible in the camera. Now let me uh, decrease the field of view here to let's say 30. Yeah, 30 should be fine. And let me uh, decrease the clipping plane to 0 0.01 and that should be fine too. Now let's just click on play. Yes, now you can notice that the camera animation is being imported nice and clean. Right, so uh, that's it for uh, importing camera animation. It's very simple, right? Now, uh, the last thing which I'm going to show you guys is um, I'm going to use my 2018 here. So it's pretty simple. Instead of using this particular uh, sphere and you know exporting it, you can directly export the camera. So let me switch on the camera and just select everything here. Go to File and Send to Unity and All. And it's going to ask me to select the Unity project file, which is under Rags and Cam Anim and under Assets. So I'm going to click on Camera Anim here and uh, maybe I, w I don't want to replace it instead I'll just rename it as 01 here and export all and I guess it is exported completely now you can notice the camera anim01 is being uh, imported here let's create um, let's just close this one hide this one for now and just import this one here and I'm just going to select the animation controller and put it on there and let's just play it and see Okay, I don't see the difference because uh, the animator actually is uh, differing. So select the camera anim01 and select this anim play and just drop it in here and just delete this one and this one is connected now. Now it should work. Yes. So right now the camera01 is also working. So this is two different methods. If in case you're using Maya 2018 then this one should work which is a default uh, option that is available in uh, Maya 2018. If not, then just create a sphere and just uh, export it. So I guess, I guess that's it for this video. So I'll just catch you guys with another interesting tutorial very soon. And um, if in case you like this video, just please give me a thumbs up. And if in case you find it useful, uh, share it with your friends. And for more interesting tutorials like this, please don't forget